Hi everybody, here's Christian from the Teamwork Cast. And I'm Kelfasio, a friend of Teamwork Cast, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Duh. Um, so this is um, welcome. This is Netrunner Teamwork Cast, welcome. And this <laughs> welcome. is welcome, <laughs> by the way. Uh, and um, this is the Eurigo 6 tournament on the 13th of November. Yes. By Falco. A, by Falco, organized He's by the Falco. awesome guy that organizes all that shit. And always shows us his finger. Yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> so this is uh, something that Falco really, really likes to do with his tournament. I love it as well. So he does a top three cut. It's really nice because it kind of spices it up. Doesn't leave yeah. it to Swiss only, but doesn't do like the dragged out top sixteen or top eight thing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> then so it has something like for people to hype about. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, no final the, table. The hype Woo! at the end is, is yeah. really good. Um, so this is like um, this was like a five round Swiss tournament. Yeah. And then at the end, he did um, we did a top three cuts. So the um, the um, place number two and number three were playing against each other. And then the winner would play against place number one from Swiss Round. So the first seed has to lose twice, or is it just like a final game? It's a no, just normal. It's not a, not a double elimination, single okay. elimination. Um, so on the left we have Django from the Cologne meta, which we saw so many times now, and he's a really excellent player. On the right we have Nico, also from the Cologne meta, which uh, is also an excellent player that also win one of the Eurigo cha championships as well. Wait, is this like the final game, or...? This is not the final game. This is the first oh. game of the okay. of the two top three games. Okay, okay, okay. I got. You. I got. You. I'm um, so now. Django, Django will be playing the sink. Uh, here, removing tax costs one credit more. Yep. And Nico will be playing the Valencia, which gives Django a bad pop. Yep. Is that the? Um... No, I don't know yet. I can't really see. I mean, I'm wondering if it's a runner. It's the world's runner-up uh, sink deck because that that's a really nice deck. Not sure exactly, but <coughs> Django usually likes to play the very meta ch choices. Yeah. Ooh, two gambles. Bam! It's like, yeah, what up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, two gambles and uh, I had worse. Yep. I think I've had worse into two gambles, actually. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And then um, two ice and a credit from Django. No sure gamble, a uh, hedge fund from him. Uh, but, but he it, just... F there is something even better. <laughs> fast advances of breaking news. Which is how the game win right there. And and then this is the new uh, <laughs> card Obelus. that everybody lo loves to hate. Or love. Man, it's, um, it's okay. I mean, for its cost, it's very well balanced. In, in my opinion, at least. I think it's 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 pretty powerful. Uh, paired with the Hades sword thingy that you can do. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, okay. That, that's even, even that more That is like straight up crazy. But so can, overall... So can, you explain, uh, can you explain this quickly what card it is and what it does? Resistor? No, not that. Oh, Obelus. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember really. How much MU does it give? Like plus one, I think? I think one, yeah. Cost four <laughs> gives plus one. And yeah. as many tags as you got, uh, mm. that bigger your hand size is. So if you mm -hmm. got three tags, you got three more hand size. So you go to eight. And <laughs> and <laughs> every time you uh, access cards, you draw cards equal to the amount of cards that you accessed. And the the tricky thing that you can do with Hades Art that we were talking about earlier was that you can run R and D and trigger Hades Art while you're accessing, so that you access archives as well. And that counts towards Obelus because it doesn't specify where you're accessing from. Yeah, so late game you can draw a billion cards yeah. because you access cards on uh, on archives while you were running an R and D. It just says uh, while on a run on HQ or R and D, so it yeah. doesn't say where you're accessing them from. A, a bit, I don't know. I, yeah, I feel like this weird. card would have been still good if just one of the abilities were on printed on it. Yeah, and it's not like sh um, cr um, unless we're missing good um, good consoles. It's as if they made Gauntlet and then they're like, oh, that's not that good. Let's make a better one for Honor. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the, like if you look at Gauntlet, it's like the. <laughs> It's like okay. five costs as well. You're like, uh, mm. I don't really want to install this. Uh, this is okay. <laughs> it's even more expensive. It's so stupid. Uh, anyway. Inject uh, for... I'm not I mad. I'm not mad. Thou's yeah. similar thing in Deja Vu. Well, that's mm. not bad. More draw. Yeah, definitely. Uh, getting up to speed with the uh, crazy card draws here. Uh, and then, of course, Django had installed a Jackson Howard. And then he used Jackson Howard to shuffle back things in. Yep. He has another Jackson Howard in hand, so he doesn't really care about the oh, losing yeah. the speed of the Jackson. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a pretty good opening for Sync, but also for the Valencia, because Valencia has a console and, al and already enough money in draw to get things out. Yeah. But the thing is, if Sync gets another agenda out real quick, the 24-7 thing yeah. is, uh, is on the table. 
I think 24 7 is a real threat here. We have to assume yeah. he's playing this. So just one more fast advance, and Nico is in a bad way. Uh, there, I guess the strategy for Django to win here is with a boom. Um, oh, so doing a boom for damage. A fast. That's like hard. Oof, oof. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money and cards to get it in. Oh, oh my god. Not, thank you, thank you, Falco. <laughs> thank you so much for reminding us. Account siphon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's something that's worth spending a Deja yeah, Vu for so. a Faust for. <laughs> so he spends a fourth to break the seventeen uh, and then gets four. And then also this gives him the attacks that he needs to trigger Obelus. Yep. Of course of course now technically um the boom is active. Yep. Um but um with an extra card um um the card this extra cards that we will get from Obelus he can maybe survive this. Well not yet, because he can go up to seven, not eight. Well, no, no, no. With seven, you can survive it. Sorry. Yeah, you can survive it. And yeah. also, um, of course, now he he's not afraid of the boom because um, Django doesn't have the credits yet. Yep. How much credits is the boom again? Four. Four. That's good. It's good price. You know what I like about boom? Huh? It's not a terminal. It's what? It's not a terminal. Yeah. Although two nice. two clicks is. Well, I mean, like if he, it wasn't he, two clicks, I'd be like, stupid, right? I mean, usually it terminates the game, yeah. so it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of uh, terminal. <laughs> although I was kind of proud I survived the boom on this in this tournament. Really? Yeah. Did you lose later? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a survivor. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, Running on R&D and seeing one card, drawing a so, card because of this. This is not great either, oh, because... Oh, en <coughs> Is that an inject attack or something? Oh, oh en passant. En passant. En passant. So you as a chess expert, you should know. <laughs> I love how <laughs> it's just like through the card, like whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's another card that's like very strong. Uh, you know, the Anars are getting so good cards, such a good, such good cards, and yeah. it's it's getting a bit ridiculous out of hand, I would say. Look at that card draw; that is amazing. Um, yeah, some more. Oh, and paperclip Inject. goes in the trust. Okay, I I hadn't seen that before. I mean, I don't know why, but <laughs> injecting to paperclip seems amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty pretty amazing. Not bad. <laughs> it's not like he needs a, yeah. a breaker now, but he could if he wanted. I mean, if there's a wraparound or something. Hard hitting, explode a Palooza in hand. What mm. else was that? But hard hitting news is not <clears throat> a choice okay, right now. Okay, so that's the thing that I was going to say, right? I just saw it in his hand as well. You mm. do have the tags. You can get more cards and survive the thing. But the thing in the current Netrunner meta is like somebody said it that it's about having tags or not having tags. It's not the amount yeah, of tags it's binary. anymore. It's very yeah, binary. it's binary. Mm. So at this point, Having tags is a huge problem, because not only are you uh, afraid of the Scorch threat or whatever, but yeah. th there's also Quantum Predictive models in there. I mean, he's playing Sync. That's like the best agenda That's, for the Sync. That is true. The quantum predictive, model, quantum predictive models are an issue right now. Yeah. Um, Nico gets out a medium, so he goes for the deep digs, and there's oh a... Oh, my God. <clears throat> well, that's actually probably even liability here. That's a Gutenberg. Yeah, because... Although, on the other hand, he wants to uh, give Nico a lot of tags because the two um, um, uh, resistors yeah. are going to get stronger it the already, more tags. It already cost him an extra tag now just because he went to three uh, tags. Right, <laughs> he's, so going with a, he's going with the money, the money he, way. He, he gets out the paper clip to break the resistor. Yeah. This resistor is now strength three. So it's like, what, two, two credits to break it? Oh, there's uh, some thinking. Five credits on hand. Uh, f I mean, five credits on hand. Five credits in credit pool objection? and a bad pub. Uh, although the bad pub, I think, was used. No, it's oh, the NAPD. Oh, it might, NAPD. Be, it might be the sync deck. It might be the sync deck. Okay, you have to steal this because it's one of the agendas that you can actually steal. Hmm. <coughs> and gets a token on the but medium. The resistor becomes a problem now. Yeah, it's it's definitely not a not a best choice here. Yeah, it costs Although you. At it some point, start costing more cards and more credits. At some point, you can just install a David. <laughs> is that what? like how is that how you go? You just escalate your uh, your breaker suite in order yeah. to deal with it. Yeah, I mean it's just two more tags, and you can start using your David. Just rabbit hole, man! Come on. Also, I mean his his idea is account siphon. So if the opponent is is poor. 
um, you can just pay the trace. Yeah, that is true. But you need to keep mining up and stuff. It's not really yeah. as easy as well, it sounds. Well, the council kind of takes care of that part. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, although now he's Nico is down to just some credits. He's not at a bad position, though. Yeah. No. So mm -hmm. who was and, who was the higher yeah. seed? Was it Nico or uh, Daniel? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure exactly. Because a higher seed would choose what they play, right? I am not sure. I would expect Django to be the higher seed because I don't see why I would want to play against him. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, you play uh, sync? Okay, I'll play with Valencia. <laughs> well, you know, Nico maybe was thinking like, okay, uh, d depends kind of what um, what uh, Christopher, who is on a top seat, Christopher Shimko. Yeah. What he is playing. Oh, I, I guess that too, be, yeah. It might be that, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter what he chooses, he will play against NBN eventually. <laughs> you can't <laughs> escape it. Nope, yellow, the yellow plague is up upon us. By the way, shout out to uh, Dander Genio for playing with those cards and making them full art. They're very pretty. That's really good. Yeah, I'm also yeah. happy about the current uh, champion. Yeah, um, yeah because Chris he Dyer had a slightly, so slightly different and the runner up deck. as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, some exciting games there. <laughs> I mean, I was right. I was like, okay, yeah, you know, it's kind of silly. We're seeing uh, Wizard uh, CTM again, but they those two players played so nicely. They they showcase such uh, such skill with those. Uh... Ooh, quantum predictor model. So we see. Um, yeah. So we see a knife that was used to knife away the um, the resistor, which was amazing. It's exactly it's what great, you needed, right? Exactly what he needed. Uh, now he can go to town on R and D. Yeah. Go to town. Um, of course, he scored an agenda for um, for Django, but it's not like Django can win with the quantum predictive models in, themselves. I have the uh, arts to sing Funky Town right now, but I won't. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Difficult choices why, why for. Why is he not doing it? Why is he not doing uh, it? I'm not sure. I think Nico is still thinking. Do it. Get to the topa. Well, <laughs> it's not that easy, man. Uh, I mean, mm. you draw and you okay, yeah, okay, that's okay, a good okay, idea. Okay. Before he gets more tags, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that, second, that, that makes sense. And second, second, the Didios and and passant. And passant. En passant. Ha, ha, ha. So how does passant work in chess? Uh, I don't know. I I don't I don't know the term. I don't what? know the term you, in you that don't know how, Do you know how it works? What? I thought you were a chess expert. Yes, but I played it in Greek, man. <laughs> Well, you know, what it does it do? I have, I have no idea. But it's, I, I'm, I don't know which term is it is in particular. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> you yeah. Know, the, I think it's the one with the pawns. When you move the pawns with two. You move it like to the forward. When it's like yeah, uh, next to you. you, can, you yeah, can, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the opponent can. Yeah, we so, call that differently. We don't call it impossible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after the account siphon, there's, a, there's two rounds on R&D. So we see a lot of cards, draw a lot of cards. So that's oh, why Reina is on en passant. But that can be triggered. Huh? Excuse that, me? That's why Reina is on en passant. Yeah, because it's oh, the chess okay, term. Okay, I, so, get, I, get, I get it. I get it. So, I get so in case, since you, chess expert, can explain, I will explain. Uh, so if, there's like this weird rule, arcane rule, where <laughs> when you move rule. a pawn to two fields, <laughs> which you can do, two spaces, which you can do at, when they're at the starting rank. Then the opponent can like swoop in from behind with a with a pawn, uh, with a pawn and um, capture them, even though like he's going in the field that they skipped basically. Yep. And then he captures the uh, opponent's pawn, even though he doesn't actually land on this <coughs> on the field that the opponent's pawn is in. He kind of captures the opponent's pawn en passant, like while passing it. Oh, is that what it means? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't remember the Greek term either. I just know the move. I, it's a it's a weird rule. I don't know why why they have it. Like, what kind of problem so, does it solve? I have no idea. I've probably talked about this a thousand times, but I don't remember. It's been years. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I understand. Remember. Like, I understand the rule of moving the pawns at the beginning of two of two 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 fields, but I don't know why why the pawn is there. It's a huge problem. I'm Arcane currently zone. programming a chess AI, and so difficult to. <laughs> it's like cause a lot of headaches. I feel. Yeah, I can imagine. 
It's like right, everything so works perfectly, everything lands on spot, and then there's this. <laughs> yeah, you have to keep the track which the pawn was moved last around, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so that is, um, uh, the jungle just got three credits, and then Nico just continues running on uh, on the R&Ds. Dun -up, dun -up, dun -up. And there is a, there's an Archangel, it. which you saw previously, which is being triggered now. Yep, triggered. <laughs> he could, he, I mean, that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's a good choice here, because now he, the um, medium can be bounced. Well, not really, he can break it. Can he break yeah. It? If you can't break it, you can pay for the trace. If he can break it, he can he can pay for the trace. There's no yeah. other choices. He there pays for the trace. I mean, he paid three credits for it, and he can run That's again, okay. whatever. He can't really fire it again, so. <clears throat> nothing. Nothing. Wow. nothing and he draws just five? Me. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that there's. <laughs> the, the card draw is just insane. Yeah, this. The card this is, is just insane. so, so stupid. Yeah, it's 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 just amazing. I played <laughs> I mean, um, the Scottish. You thought uh, medium wasn't bad enough. <laughs> I played the Scottish Argus against this uh, Simus's uh, famous Argus, and mm. I killed someone second turn. Thank God, because they installed a uh, Nobelus and then they siphoned me, and I was a five credits, so I did double scores. Nice. So I was happy to not see what else he can do. <laughs> and there we go again. So now there's another Archangel, of course, but this time it can yeah. be triggered because um, no because Jungle doesn't have the credits. It's kind of a good choice for Nico to just run into Archangel because um, yeah, it's like because siphoning. It keeps, keeps Jungle poor. Yeah, it's a tiny siphon. It's a tiny siphon. Oh, cute little siphon. Oh, cute little Oh, 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 Baby voices. <laughs> <laughs> Or little dog noise. Or you little chef. Oh, oh, you 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 <laughs> <laughs> and now we just lost all of our our uh, audience. Yeah. <laughs> Commentate like nobody's listening. Oh my god, there is a swip swip. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the way for Django to get back. I mean, that's that's a pretty good card. Right? <laughs> right? What did you, dis what did you discard? You just wait you? for uh, Nika to do one more run. Still, everything else. Let you score no. another um, quantum. Sure why, Jung, why, why, why didn't Django discard it openly? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, he, I think he. Had, yeah, he he's had doing it now. He's doing it now. Yeah. What now? He gained nine credits, so he had um, ten. No, nine cards. Ten cards. Had. Ten cards. No, nine. Uh, he get eight credits, didn't he? Because you get a credit before. Whatever. And wait, 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 wait. You gain a credit and you spend it, and then you gain equal to the number of cards that he has. So he gained nine. Yeah. So he had nine cards in hand. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Now the archangel. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the archangel is being broken by the with with using the cards. It's not like Nico doesn't have enough cards on hand. Yeah. Has, no. But the thing is that um, he can use it again. He goes to like eleven on the medium. Yeah, it's a oh, no, it's, seven, a, okay, it's okay. a serious deep deck right now. Ugh. Until he's a, a cyber deck or a something. A bit disgusting here. Using backup to trash this. What is that? Oh, oh. that's a boom. <laughs> nothing. 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 <laughs> a big pile of nada. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, wow. And he draws seven cards so. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Oh my god. I think this is a good moment for a purge. Yep. Yeah, if you purge now, you're basically um, pretty much fine for the rest of the next two or three turns. <clears throat> I really like those moments when you know the runner has not seen anything on R&D. It's like, okay, now mm. I have plenty of time to do whatever I want. Yes, that's really great. Yes, I love it. Yeah, seven on medium. Sorry, I was looking at the tags earlier. That's why I got confused. Eleven tags at the moment. <laughs> he can have a hand size of 16. Yeah. But why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> That's where the diff like, fits very nicely. <laughs> but why would you want that? <laughs> I mean, this is a great a great time for a Kumaino or a Brainstorm. He can, he can break anything with Faust right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but he would lose his entire hand. Yeah. I, well, I bet he plays a Levi admin mean, at least one. Yeah, sure. But, but still, that would be very painful. <laughs> <laughs> you Levi and then you run R&D I wonder if he's playing Parasite I wouldn't think so well then Kumaino it is yeah it is isn't it 
Well, he does mm. play a mimic, but he didn't install it because he I saw the. I told you, um, man. I told you. It's the, you were right. It's the David. You were right. The end of days it's is upon David. us. <laughs> 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 he does play a mimic, but he trusts it. So he probably thought, you know, he's not. He doesn't have influence on Kamino. <laughs> and there is a print. I would be surprised if there was a Komaino in, in, in the yellow deck. That yeah, would be amazing. It's like slotting wrap around in a non-NBN deck, right? <laughs> and another knife here, uh, using the, the David to break the and destroy the second Okay, this is refractor. going to hurt because... Okay, yeah. there is a quantum predictive model in his hand. Mm. So that's not great. But uh, yeah, Django is really against the wall. Yeah, 24-7 yeah, not running too much right now. I mean, you could get, get, get him even more attacks. You could get the, uh, if he has, no, he doesn't play Astro. It's three Quantums, uh, three uh, Breaking News. Um, but if, if, if he's playing Psychographics, then yeah. just drawing into Beal might win him the game just instantly. No, he doesn't play Beal, I think. If that's a right, if that's the sync deck that I'm thinking about. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's There's the one, one in EPD, GFI, GFI, I think. Three Breaking News, uh, one 15 minutes or whatever it is, we don't remember. Yeah, the one with the gen degenerate agenda yeah, suite. and mm. three quantum predictive models. So. Does he play uh, Psychographics? I think he does, I think to, so. To score out the foods, right? Yeah, because mm. it's a way to win still, so... Yeah, definitely. Uh, the food is a good target for Psychographics. And you can also, as, you uh, can also break in new Psychographics uh, exchange of information if the other person has the, the DFI. Yeah. Oh my, look at his hand. I don't know what's in his hand. There's too many colors. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a, there's a rainbow. There's like a wide array of what yellow, does it mean of yellow shades in there. <laughs> uh, so many the the color of of putrid puke. In reality, NAPD is also a yellow card. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? NAPD is also a yellow card. Look at it. Oh, that, yeah, it's, it is very yellow indeed. Yeah. Oh I my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm running I out mean, of money. Let me just, you know, rob the bank one more time. <laughs> I've seen uh, now non NBN decks splashing sweep sweep simply because, like, the Obulus decks are so yeah. vulnerable to this. It's a very big thing with Wizard as well. So, mm. And Omar plays it a lot. Omar plays it a lot. Yeah, of course. Uh, we have to assume that Nico's actually playing uh, um, Rebirth, and he can rebirth into Omar. Yeah. I want to actually look up something. So. Okay. Obelus. Okay, Obelus says the first time a successful run on R&D or HQ ends its turn. So mm. that counts for Omar's effect, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's successful yep. run. Yeah, okay, yep. fair successful enough. Run. Running on R&D, um, there is a um, Archangel. Yeah, I don't really care about that, though. Because it's like yeah, six strength. Just David, three cards. whatever. Starting nothing. to build up the tokens again. It's not a bad idea to keep building it now, even though there are no new cards as yet. Do you want to run HQ though? No, right? Ah, yeah, of course. Why not? Just, just take a, take a peek. Yeah, I'm afraid peek of the quantum in there. Peek a roo. Dem dice. Dem dice. Oh, oh, there we go. See, that's why you run HQ. Yeah, he wasn't gonna do it though. Oh wait, he could, he could have done it. That's a he big. He could have uh, done it. That's, that's a big great. tempo hit. Yeah. That's a pretty big tempo here. Running again because, because you will see a new uh, card. It's fast fuel, right? Yeah, twenty four seven. Not that big of a deal. Yeah. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. So <laughs> what? What do you do with sync right now? It's it's difficult. I don't know. Oh. oh. No. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Because why not, you know? Oh, there was a boom. <laughs> hmm. Let me let me get this out real quick. I mean, he trusts the booms. Why would you play that now? Isn't that, like, kind of a waste of money? Oh, he drew another quantum predictor. No, as, I mean, if, as, a, as a corporation, you can always get back um, the boom with, um, with somehow with, um, I don't know, um, yeah, it's like archive or memories or something. Yeah. Huh. Now it's difficult. To, oh, close accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I love the swinginess of those games. I mean, people say that this is a kind of like a degenerate um, Netrunner type of game, but it's <laughs> super swingy. 
It's like the crazy exchange of blows. But that's a binary nature of tags. Like, if you're tagged, there's so much punishment going on. Yeah. But no, for real, like, what do you do as a sync right now? Do you just uh, look for uh, psychographics in the DFIs before the other person finds them? Or you exchange of information in the NPD at some point for the extra point? Yeah, the NPD is really oh. not... Oh, there's a boom. Yeah, yeah, exactly as you said it. He's just turning back the uh, booms. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> boom, boom, switch trick. Trans oh, resistor. Yeah, that's also a good idea. I mean, <laughs> he's a 12, uh, 16 tags. <laughs> you know, uh, if... If anybody plays Boom, we have to. There's another song from the '90s that we can reference. Boom Sakalaka. That could be also. But I'm, what I meant was Boom Shake 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 the Room. <laughs> You're so old. Mm. <laughs> Where did you even remember that song? I mean, come on. Tick 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 <laughs> Boom. <laughs> okay, so Resistor is also not a great idea because Medium. Uh, yeah, Medium breaks it. No, Medium. Uh, David. Yeah. Yeah, so he can just like same old thing uh, forked again. Yep, it's it's not looking too good for for Django here. Is it forked uh, Although or the qu the quantum models, I don't know. Why don't you just install the quantum models nakedly? Yeah, I mean, why not? Right, you got the money. Yeah. And it's not like um, Nico will ever get down. On the other hand, like he can just keep them on their hand as a kind of like you know when Nico runs on each on hand, he will get them. Actually, he wanted to have them in the archives. I would say. Oh, spooned. Spoon and R&D. Yep, there we go. Spoon yeah, on the R&D. The thing mm -hmm. is, um, Django needs one more one-pointer and two exchange of information. Yep. Another boom. <laughs> oh, found it right away and it's dead. And it's gone. Now that the love is gone. Wow, there's a musical podcast right there. <laughs> I mean, musical commentary. Three cards. Uh, seeing more three cards running there, just collecting the tags like no tomorrow. Man, oh, I will probably have to create more overlay. Oh, there's a third Jackson, that, a third Jackson. That hurts a lot, yeah. Mm. A third Jackson. So he definitely needs to, to find his exchange of information fast. Yeah. Because he's going to score it. Nico is going to score it to your five soon. Nothing. Like Nico saw so many cards now. Yeah. There must be this he must be the bottom <laughs> of the deck. It's a, it's a bit it's insane. I'm very sure he has a was that exchange of information? I think it was. But it, it it's kind of funny because the fact that Nico hasn't scored anything is also a problem for Django. He has scored ADPD. Yeah, but it's he wanted like he it would have been great if Nico scored one global food or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm saying he needs uh, installing the quantum predictive might be a good idea because you can score it yourself if they don't go for it, so that you have at least uh, two one pointers that you can exchange. Yeah, but uh, he already has two one pointers that you can no, exchange. No, he needs three, so that he goes one three three. Oh yeah, so can we immediately? You mean yeah? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Using a blackmail to run. Can you blackmail and then end passant? Yeah. Wow. I told you it's it's a it's wow. a bit of a ridiculous card. You can also DDoS in <coughs> passant. <coughs> Mind blown. It's uh, it's a bit of a I don't know I don't it's like it. It's a very it. neat I, I combo. It's a it's a card that could have been great in criminals. Okay, there's a there's a first problem. Okay. You better find them all fast. Yeah, he has to win now. Uh, oh, oh my god! Well, it's not good. Looking too find bad. One more. One more agenda. Ah, <sighs> not raising the first ice. No, nothing. Empasso? No, he can't res. That, that was a Yeah, that is true. That is true. Man. He can't res. I thought it was another one. Empasso. Okay. Empasso. Yeah. Empasso would be great. Although he discarded two, I think. Maybe he has a third one. Oh, yeah, Black Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he sees three new cards. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so maybe suddenly we're going to get no, the agendas. No. No. Oh, there we go. I think it's, it's, it's done. No, it's not done yet, right? Oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Lord Almighty! What is going on? Uh, it's a <laughs> butt clench. <laughs> Third <laughs> Third okay, okay. Two new cards. Two new cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, it feels as if I'm there. He's he's <laughs> get running out of uh, dice. He cannot track how many tags he has there. 
But we are staying adamant. We're saying like you have to track them. Oh I mean, the fact that he's using dice is already pr pretty, pretty. Oh, crazy. he started using different colored dice. That's how far. Yeah, he has to <laughs> borrow dice from from the jungle. <laughs> All right, finally, there we yes, go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. So he had to win that turn. Yeah, yeah. He I guess had he had to. to, right? Yeah. Because otherwise, you could just uh, exchange of information for the GFI. Yeah, well, that, that wouldn't. Yeah, I, I think it's the uh, I think it's the uh, runner up uh, runner ups uh, deck. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it's, uh, I kind of like the new card that he is showing one. here. Sorry, what? The, he's showing a new card here, which is like this um, the best offense yeah. defense, uh, which I think would be really nice here. For example, he could have trashed the um, the obolus. Yeah. And that would have been a really good target, but he hasn't drawn it, so yeah. it would have been great. But I mean, he, he could have trust the medium as well. It could have been love, but it's over now. It could have been. It could have been so much. I think uh, trashing the medium. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's like that's the problem with Anarchs. They have so much recursion. Like all the trashing effects are not really that that meaningful. Yeah, they're just temporary setbacks. So much, so much pain, man. So much pain. I, I, but I think like the fact that Django didn't have so much um, so, so much um, luck early on kind of helped him against Django because Django was um, he was taxed for such a long time. Django had uh, couldn't do like the exchange of information to do to do meaningful things. Yeah, for sure. And, and so that's why like it seemed like Django was very far away from winning. But looking at best defense, it's. You see that you know the game wasn't done for Django. He actually had more options. He had more things yeah, to do. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It wasn't as hopeless as, yeah. as it's, it, it turned out at the end. It may look uh, hopeless, but a good MBM player will find ways to get back into it, and he will surprise you really, really badly, like like he did with the uh, yeah. closed accounts, and it bought him like basically yeah. a full turn. Yeah, it was really good. Definitely, Django is certainly a person who could have um, recovered from this very, very easily. It was just not, uh, it didn't quite work out this way. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to move on to the finale. I hope you whoop, guys whoop. will join us next time around. It's going to be amazing. We're going to see Django, uh, not Django. We're going to see, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> we're going to see hurts. Nico. I'm sorry. Django, we're going to see I'm Django sorry, in the future Django. for sure. Uh, but we're going to see Nico and Christopher. Uh, yep. the, two, two Colonians in the, in the finale. How great nice. is that? I love Cologne. It's like my favorite city in Germany. Sweet. So we're gonna move on, <laughs> and as always, hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me. Shit on me. Shit on me. Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hack the planet.